toad leather. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, General315. Man, I'm back again with another sneaker review, and I got some heat today from our friends over at Kick Who. They sent this over to me to review, and I've been waiting for this shoe for a minute. I can't even stress to y'all, I've been wanting this shoe for a while because nobody's really reviewing these. And I think that this one is dope. Me personally, I like this one more than I like the Chicago, but that's me. Y'all might think I'm crazy, but it's just the color scheme. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Y'all make sure y'all comment down below. Y'all let me know what you think about the shoe. Y'all stay active. And just remember, at a thousand subscribers, I got a giveaway coming. I'm giving away a pair of Chicago ones. That's what I'm doing at a thousand subscribers. So make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. This shoe, dope, dope, dope shoe. But just remember, it's a UA shoe. It's not a retail shoe. This one isn't the retail. Make sure you guys remember, this is an educational video. I'm just showing you what they sent me to review, all right? So I don't know what the resale cost is of the shoe. I'm gonna put it up on the screen and just remember the price varies by size. I'm not sure what your size's price would be for resale if you wanted to buy it off of Goat and StockX, but this is what it is it's if, if it's a 10 and a half because that's my size. Now, let's break down the shoe. You got that shattered backboard style color blocking and there's really only two color blockings of the Jordan 1 right the silhouette is either the Chicago style silhouette or it's you know the black toe style well actually there's three there's the Chicago style which is the solid color there's the black toe style and then there's like the colored toe style so this is the bread toe colorway and this is that color blocking just like the shattered backboard 1.0 the court purple 1.0 they all have the same color blocking in this color blocking you have the black leather going around the toe the red toe box you have the red heel white or sail actually this is a sail mid panel you have a sail midsole red bottom black ankle collar black tongue so let's jump into these materials and y'all know this joint got some tumbled leather i'm really liking this tumbled leather on here it really looks good i'm gonna go ahead and press it for you somebody actually in the comments told me in another video to make sure i took the shoe tree out and pressed the actual leather of the shoe which is what i will do for you my friend look at that level tumble level that's what that is right there it's nice leather i really like good leather on shoes and you got a nice little flat leather on here going around the mud guard and going up the eyelets of the shoe that flat leather ends around the ankle collar of the shoe really really nice this mid panel is sale as you can see it's got nice leather on it pretty dope flat leather nike swoosh right there and you got some tumbled leather vibes on the heel now one thing about this shoe that i noticed that i didn't really understand was these lines going through the shoe right here and it, it doesn't bother me but i saw it when i put the shoe up close i kind of saw it and you can see it on the screen you see that and i looked up the shoe making process and i said well what how could that have been i think it's when they press the thing down to cut the leather, the mold, that pressed down onto the shoe. Now that's not normally there, but I think that's gonna go away with wear. But as you can, you can see that line right there. There's just a line on, on both of the sides. And I think, like I said, when, it, when the mold pressed down, it created that little, I don't know, like that little line right there. If you guys can see that, it's on both sides right there. And it's on both the shoes. I don't know. I've never seen it on a retail pair before, but it's there and it's something to know. Anyway, moving on, medial side, the mid panel looks really nice. Y'all can see that leather right there. It's nice and soft. It's really nice, good pig skin right there. I like that. Y'all saw the toe box already. Toe box looks good. The color looks good. Got that sail midsole right there, and that looks great. Got a little mark right here. Nothing crazy. Doesn't bother me. Might bother somebody else. Outsole looks good. That looks good. Nice red right there. Got a nice hourglass shape on these. Got that nylon tongue. Standard thickness tongue. We have our Nike Air branding on the tag on the tongue, which looks good. Inside of the shoe, you got black with the Nike Air. There is your sizing tag right there. Looks great. The shoe looks really good. Besides those couple things that I mentioned, the shoe looks really good. You got those lines, you see? And I think that's from the molding when they cut the leather. That's that thing that presses down and it actually cuts the leather out like a, I don't know, like a stencil or whatever. 
but it's like a big metal piece and I watched it, it actually comes down and it like chops the leather. I don't know, but it puts some pressure right there on the leather. And it, like I said, it doesn't bother me, but it might bother you. It's worth noting because you guys are watching the video. I want you to see what you're going to get. This did come with an extra set of laces and it came with some red laces. I'm not going to wear these. I'm going to leave them black. That's just me. I like the black tongue with the black laces. I don't want to have red on the tongue. And then I don't know. I just feel like it's a little bit too much red. The shoe is already red itself. So just scanning this second shoe. It looks really good. The leather quality is really good. Can't complain there. The only thing that would bother somebody probably is that that press. Wings logo looks really nice right there. Check out that Wings logo. Hourglass shape on the back of the next shoe here. So yeah, definitely a dope shoe. No complaints from me at all. I think that this shoe is 100% a 10 out of 10. I love that shoe. And I might be biased because red's my favorite color, but if I had to rate the shoe, I'll give it a 10 for the colorway. That's what I'm saying. In terms of the construction of the shoe, I'm gonna give them a eight solid eight the only reason is because of those lines those lines that i was showing you and there's a small little mark right there that doesn't bother it's like dirt but those lines in the leather from that press that's not normal that's usually i mean I've, i don't think i've ever seen that on a retail pair where the line will be on the the leather where they cut out the pieces of leather so they can sew it together so i gotta ding them for that because that's not normally there now does that mean that all kick who pairs have that no it doesn't because there's tons of kick who pairs that i've seen that doesn't have that but this particular pair does and it's just a part of the process of making the shoe it just happens maybe they had to lighten up the the pressure that the machine was putting on the leather when they were cutting it and they probably noticed it and then they made their adjustments at, from there but i just happened to get this one which has that little mark on the leather and that's fine because it doesn't bother me but it might bother one of you guys and that's okay so that's why i'm telling you guys this all right, that's all I got for this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys follow the channel. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. We moving and grooving. I hope you guys enjoy this on foot. Y'all stay humble. Y'all stay blessed. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. What's good, y'all? General 315 back again. Uh, got some errands to run today. I got to uh, get rid of my car. This guy right here. It's about time. I got to upgrade. You kind of get attached to vehicles, right? Like... I've had this car for almost 10 years and now it's just gotten to that point where it's time to move on. You have it for a while, like you basically live in it kind of a little bit. In my case, I, I didn't, I don't drive a lot. In the climate that I live in, I gotta have something four wheel drive and this thing isn't four wheel drive. So time to trade it in. So while I do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record this on foot, grab the new whip and then we gonna see what happens, all right? I'll catch up. So I ended up buying the car. I got the new joint, got one of these, this red joint right here, clutch, you know what I'm saying? I was gonna do the on foot at the dealership, but they didn't want me to do that. So I'm gonna do this on foot right here, and then we'll just move on to the next review, y'all. It's always a journey when you buy something new you know what i'm saying it's always a journey you always want to upgrade in your life right you always want to upgrade you always want to do bigger and better things and you know my car was old it was time you know what i'm saying it was just time for me to get myself into a position where i could change things and that was just one of the things that i changed you know what i mean it was just it was needed you know what i'm saying especially in the climate that i live in. so glad i could buy a car with y'all appreciate y'all